This 2003 Jaguar S-Type is a sport and it's got some great features to it. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to run you through some of the features on this car. We are the Old Timer Centre and we specialise in European cars. This particular car is a sport as I mentioned so it's got the bigger thicker steering wheel, bucket seats and larger brakes. This is an update so it's got the six speed transmission and it has an incredible service history to it. It comes in this beautiful colour combination and see here it's got nice big brakes, Michelin tyres and the condition is outstanding. We're located just 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. You can probably hear the plane flying over. Not only does it have a fantastic logbook and two remote keys to the car, it's got a folder with a whole lot of receipts, which is fantastic. It's very rare these days. It's got a full-size spare, which is an alloy wheel. Nice big battery. The three-litre engine with the six-speed transmission is a great combination. It gives you plenty of power, along with some very good fuel economy. The cream leather interior is very good. The Sport also came with these perforated seats, so it's got the little dots in it. It's nice soft leather, similar to like a, a Nappa leather. And it's very, sim it's got a lot of the features found in the S-Type R with the big supercharged V8. Like the bigger seats, you can see the gear shift, that's very similar. And the steering wheel, as I mentioned earlier. But for a car with 169,000 kilometres, it's in amazing condition. And it's nice to see it's got a near new set of Michelin tyres on it. I do think that you can tell a lot about a car by the tyres. If it had $60 Chinese tyres on it, to me that would suggest that it's possibly been owned by someone who doesn't care about cars and nor do they care about spending the right money on cars to buy quality things. So if this car's got new, new Michelin tyres, they've got all the receipts for the work being done and it's got a fully up-to-date logbook, chances are it's been very well looked after. The next service isn't due until next year at 174,000 kilometres. It's being serviced at a service centre in Hornsby. And I think is very good value for money. These are reliable. People are sort of stuck in the 70s and 80s when it comes to Jaguar. They, uh, they still look and feel fantastic, but they don't have the issues which they used to have. I'd even go so far as to say they're now making some of the most reliable cars, the European cars on the road. It's rear wheel drive. A lot of the parts and the gearbox in this car are shared with many other cars. Seeing that it's a six speed, it's probably got the ZF gearbox, which is used in almost, as far as I say, most cars from this era. So parts are easy to get. And most mechanics are very familiar with how they work. This particular car was built on a similar platform to a Ford, in fact. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I think it's pretty rare to get it in a sport. I haven't seen a lot of them. And someone's really taken good care of it. With a Jaguar, it's not a car you can go online, look up S-Type, price low to high. Oh, there's one for five grand, I'll go buy that, that looks good. The chances are it hasn't been looked after and you are gonna buy problems. You need to buy a good car for a fair price which comes with a book, and you can see that it's been serviced on time. Otherwise, you may be one of those people who doesn't have a great experience. Because as reliable as they are, they're not invincible. If you don't service it for 40,000 kilometres, or if you mistreat it, it is going to cost you dearly. But this is not one of those cars. It's been very well maintained, requires absolutely nothing at the present time, and drives perfectly. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. This is the old timer centre. 
We're located close to Sydney Airport. We specialise in European cars. And we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again for watching.